Alright, hey guys, I'm here with this tutorial to actually show you how to share media from your browser. That means online media to an XBMC device. So, an XBMC device is a UPnP device, so it'll get detected, DLNA, anything like that, it'll get detected. So, first thing you need to do is download this add on extension actually and this icon will pop up so if you need to configure that just go to your XBMC just click on settings right here and here we'll type in our host name and IP address or IP address section click on system info and there you'll have your IP address and if you get into settings We'll go to services and click on UPnP. Now enable all of that. I have enabled all of that. You actually need to, I think, allow both of these. So click on the web server and allow this. Type in your port, type in your username. Make sure your port isn't anything on the network that has the same port. We don't want that. So allow programs to control XBMC we're supposed to check that and XBMC is supposed to control the others too if you want to so where I set that go so let's click on this profile I've already set it up click on save go back and I'm set up so let's go to YouTube and load up the video Hmm. The amazing Spider Man trailer. I'll load that up. Play this video. So, this is the video, right? It loads in my computer. Now, all I have to do is play to XBMC. And I can click on Play Now. Or I could click on Q so that it plays automatically if I add some things to queue, some videos to queue. Alright, so I click on play now. And it's opening a stream. It's opening. And you actually have a volume control right here. Let me just get back. It's still buffering there you have it every day I wake up knowing that the more people I try to save the more enemies I will make so we have pause control stop next and previous we have that so the volume controls right here we have Q and it's pretty easy now what if you want to share media as in your downloaded media you have to get this it's called vcast i mean vgetcast and you launch app it'll come in a separate window so it also has an extension which is pretty handy dandy so i'll just launch this app and let me just stop Stop the playback, or else we'll get into problems. Yes. So back to Vcast, I mean Vgetcast. I'm gonna select the file. And I don't wanna get into copyright issues with YouTube. So I'm just gonna play a reverse or remix from a VC. I'm gonna click on this device. and play this so here you see you have open a new video this not only supports video this also supports mp3s I haven't 
tested pictures yet because I don't have any. Let me just check. I have one on my my desktop. I check this one. Nope, doesn't work. No, it does not. So pictures don't work, but videos do. And let's test the video actually. Things done. Test this one. Okay, let's see. Does it work? Yes, it does. Okay, due to copyright issues, I won't play this. So that's Vcast. I mean, Vgetcast. I already made that mistake a couple of times. So, if you are watching a video, say on Share6 or one channel, I've already given you tutorials how to download it. But here's how to cast it to your ActiveMC device. So. You need to install this extension, which is kind of different from the app itself. So if you've installed the extension, you have this extension right here. And here you see it'll give a red thing right here. That means the flash video is right here. So if you want to cast that, click on the cast video. Or if you want to download it, you can click on download. Click on cast video, click on the renderer, and I knew we would get into problems. No. So apparently my XBMC stopped working, so I'm get, gonna give it a try again. So this is the VGET again, and I'm gonna cast it. I'm gonna cast this link to the renderer so here we go Ooh, copyright issues I can't play it it's an amazing episode but I can't play it it's due to copyright issues so guys here's how to send media from your Chromebook or computer Chrome enabled device anything except Android but this is how to send it and guys, thank you for watching. It's been a long tutorial. I've given it a lot of tries. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.